A Ukrainian army ambulance arrives back at a base near the front line facing Russia-backed separatists in the east of the country. Military doctor Anatoly Pliashnik has been here since fighting started in 2014. But this is not his first conflict. In the 1980s, he fought for the Soviet army in Afghanistan. Просто надо сказать, сколько беды, горя мы принесли этим людям, сколько мы убили безвинных мирного населения, сколько мы разрушили кишваков, городов. Soviet forces fought insurgents for nearly 10 years after invading Afghanistan in 1979. More than a million Afghans were killed, along with an estimated 15,000 Soviet troops. Pliashnik says that at the time he and his comrades thought they were doing the right thing. He later became a civilian doctor and his view of the war changed. Мне очень трудно говорить эту правду, потому что афганцы даже в нашей организации афганского района, куда я вхожу, вот рассказывают столько мы, как мы строили дороги, школы и тому подобное. Alexei, who declined to give his surname, is another veteran of Afghanistan. There he served as a sniper. Now he's a Ukrainian army mechanic. Пропаганда йшла, що американці захватять Афганістан і поставлять ядерні ракети у границі Совєтського Союзу. 18 год людину запрограмірувати це без проблеми. Це все починаєш думати навіщо ми туди йшли. Alexei has stayed in touch with many of his former comrades from the Afghan war and they speak to each other every year on February the 15th, the day the Soviet military completed its withdrawal in 1989. Many of those veterans are Russians and Alexei remembers a call from one of them on the 25th anniversary in 2014. Ну, що буде, воно просто буде такий наглий захват. Ну, цього даже не ожидали. These men are not the only veterans of the Soviet Afghan war serving in eastern Ukraine. They both say some of their former comrades may be now on the other side of the front line.